Hello, welcome to another Fox 411 and Kiss Country Neighborhood News. Um, here uh, solo today. Jay is on vacation, but we are brought to you by the great folks at CG Public Health, cghealth.com. And it's time to talk uh, Stebbins Children's Theater, Tom Balmer, and a guest named McKenna. McKenna Schlitter is joining us. And we're doing this on a podcast, and we're also doing this on video both. So you can see it right there on our websites if you go there. So, Tom, hello, good morning, and uh, welcome. We haven't talked to you for a couple of months, I think. Good morning. How you doing? I'm wonderful. I'm McKenna, wonderful. say hi. 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 <laughs> so the next production of the Stebbins Children's Theater is The Still Life of Iris. So what's this? And it's sponsored, by the way, by the Rattay family. And they're a big supporter of Stebbins. Yeah, yeah. sure. Okay, that's awesome. And uh, I didn't realize families could sponsor your productions. Well, and uh, businesses can sponsor too. So when the radio station wants to, you know, put up or shut up, then you can uh, <laughs> you can uh, sponsor us too. All right, McKenna, where are you from? I'm from here. You're from here in Mason City. And how old are you? I'm thirteen. Thirteen. She's 13 going on 30. Oh, one of those. She's the oldest kid we got. And you're, what is that, middle schooler? Like Yeah, I'm going into grade? eighth grade. Going into eighth grade. Okay. All right. Well, Tom, tell us about Still Life of Iris. I don't think I've ever heard of this. Yeah, it's an award-winning play that um, uh, I saw and had read to me at, in uh, Washington, D.C. about 20 years ago and won a big couple big awards. And um, it was, it's really this fascinating play about uh, the land of Nocturno, where everything that we have around us is made by the workers of Nocturno. And uh, so, you know, that fly that's buzzing around your nose, that <laughs> fly was made by our workers. And each fly is different. They're like snowflakes in that way. Although, as a secret, snowflakes are not really different. Hmm. I'll just tell you that as a secret. Okay. Between okay. you and me and everybody listening to this podcast. Right. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's it's not all snowflakes are different. So Iris is a person. Yeah. Iris is a person as well as a flower. And okay. there is a um, metaphor going on throughout the play between the two. And, um, and the whole still life, it's like a drawing, it's, you know, a still life with Iris and, her life is also still, and so there's a metaphor there. She's uh, her past coat has been taken away from her, and so mm -hmm. she has no past. She can't remember her home mm -hmm. or her family, and uh, she's kidnapped by the Good family. And the Goods live on Great Island, and there are a couple of dictators who get a, get their own have their own way the whole time, and they want the best of everything. And mm -hmm. Iris. One of the best. And McKenna plays Iris. I no, McKenna plays oh. Annabelle Lee, who Annabelle Lee. comes okay. out of the figment of Iris's imagination to come and help her and bond with her. Okay. Help her find her home. Does this, I mean, it sounds like it's a small cast, is it? Or is it quite a few? It's about 22 or 23. Oh, okay. Decided. All right. All right. And, um, uh, McKenna is also our stage manager, so she's managing the stage as well as playing this part. She, so she's a busy person and um, has proven mm. to be quite competent in her jobs. She knows all her lines, and she also does the job of stage management. So how do you like being in a person's head, McKenna? A figment um, of uh, someone's imagination. <laughs> I come to her. I come to Iris by her wishing for me, like wishing for people to play with and someone to help her get away from the island. Okay. So, I like that I was made up by her imagination because that also gives me the ability to be like fun and spunky and imaginative. So sure. I really like that. And you know the poem. Uh, I don't know. Is, is the poem called Annabelle Lee? Yes. And so there's an Ed, Edgar Allan Poe. Poe poem called Annabelle Lee. And so she quotes mm -hmm. from that also. 
You know, this is interesting timing because um, I'm actually going to go to the movie If coming up here. And I don't know if you know who what If is, but it's Imaginary Friend. It's a, it's a, well, it's a, it's a kid kind of movie. I, I think it's PG, but it's, uh, yeah. And that's really big uh, with Ryan Reynolds right now in the theater. And just thinking about what McKenna is doing with Iris. You're kind of an imaginary friend, right? Yes. Yeah. The other friend is Mozart. So Amadeus okay. Mozart, Wolfgang. Wolfgang Mozart comes also. And so they both interact and befriend Iris and help her find her home. Mozart, like the famous composer? A a absolutely. Oh, same person. And then there's all this uh, you know, uh, music by Mozart also within the play. Okay. It's this very kind of like literary, interesting uh, play with mm. all these references in it and that people will find fascinating. I, I find it fascinating. I've done this right, play right. a few times. And um, this is the first time I was ever in it. I and Sally are Greta and Grotto Good, okay. uh, the villains of the play. Right. And uh, so we're having a lot of fun too. Are you, is this more dramatic? Yeah, it's dramatic and it's funny. There's a lot of funny a too, lot of right? comedy in it. Right. Yeah. And McKenna, it sounds like you got a lot of hats in this one. So yes. what's your favorite part? Do you um, like to be I in think, charge? I like being able to tell people what to do. Yeah. <laughs> and but I also love being on stage. Right. So I kind of like getting to switch back and forth a lot okay. of like my stage manager hat and then my actress hat. Yeah. Big she difference. also has a very good assistant, Ginevra, who really helps out. Yeah. She she really has done the job. And so it, it kind of uh, frees McKenna up a little bit in terms of, yeah. you know, she can focus on being the, um, the, the character also. So and I'm the same way. I'm, I've got um, this Ellie Scholes as my assistant director, and she's literally just taking over the direction of it because I'm, I'm on stage. And so... Oh, I, I, I have to focus on being on stage. So that's McKenna, who you have to listen to, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, who bosses you around? <laughs> yeah, Ellie, <laughs> me. Right, yeah. Well, that's great. Well, being 13 years old and you're on stage, how long have you been doing this? Have you been? Um, I've been doing classes since I was seven, but okay. I started doing main stage shows since I was nine. Wow, that's great. Tom, do you find that um, kids, the earlier they start, the better, or or is it they need to be kind of a certain age? You think before they? Well, yeah, I mean, we we have a um, uh, for the main stage, we have an age limit nine. You have to be nine because you right. have to really put up with these rehearsals, and the oh, rehearsals sure. get very long, and the kids get tired, and and uh, plus they're a kid, they're kids, and they can't yeah. learn lines that well. Yeah. Yeah. Once you're nine or 10 years old, suddenly you can learn lines like nothing. Mm -hmm. And uh, McKenna learns lines like she hears them once and she knows them. And, and um, little younger kids are not like that for some I'm reason. I'm sure McKenna was stood out to you right away when you first met her about, hey, this yeah. she's yeah. got it. You know, yeah. and I'm sure I bet you, Tom, you have um, you've been doing this for such a long time. I bet if you just can kind of visit with a kid for about an hour, you probably know whether they have it or not. Well, the, um, the work ethic is harder to know. And um, right. so, I, you know, from my point of view, some kids learn lines so easily and are focused so much anyways that it's not a lot of work ethic. But for McKenna, she's not that focused. She's, mm -hmm. she, it takes her will. She wills herself to get it done. Mm -hmm. And um, I think she learns lines easy, but she's, she can get distracted too. And so she has to will herself to um, be good. and. And this last year, she said, you know, she's given up things just so that she can be um, stronger on stage. And that's, that's uh, awesome. so that's not something I can just spot from a mile away. Right. You know, that kind of stuff. The I kid think, who's charismatic and, and um, cute and that kind right. of stuff. That's easy to spot. But, but you're right. Work ethic comes down to everything. Yeah. Yeah. You got to have that will and want to do it and, and uh, develop that passion that we were talking about before we went out of the air, actually. Yeah. And McKenna, you probably can thank your parents for that, right? I think parents have a lot to do with putting work ethic in their kids. 
Yeah, you had chores to do. Oh, sometimes. <laughs> if I want something, my mom makes me like fold laundry and stuff. Okay, all right. Well, I think you got a bright future here, McKenna, and I haven't even seen the play. But speaking of that. Uh, where can people get tickets? Obviously, we have a trailer that's going on right now on the video screen. Stebbinct.com yeah. C- uh, is the website, by the way. The easiest way is to get online. The, the yeah. website is um, pretty slick uh, for a local, you know, for a local. Uh, we're not Amazon by any chance, but uh, but right. it is pretty slick. You can pick up your own tickets so you can see it yourself. Right. And, um, and then when you get here, you, you, you know, the tickets are at the door. Um, okay. But your t- your tickets that give you a specific seat are at the door. Or right. you can call uh, between 3 and 5 p.m. Uh, weekdays, Monday through Thursday right. uh, for tickets, too. Okay. Otherwise, StebbinsCT.com is the website to go to. The Still Life of Iris, sponsored by the Rate family. And again, stebbinct.com. Tom, thank you so much. McKenna, thank you so much. And uh, let's get out there. It starts when and goes till when? Yeah, it starts on the 11th of June, which is next Tuesday. Right. And goes through the uh, 15th, uh, Saturday. Okay. Sounds good. I'm sure they're going to go fast. So, Tom, thank you again. We'll keep in touch uh, throughout the rest of the year and then your next production as well. So. Good luck, guys. Thanks so, so much.